London police faced a backlash from the public on Sunday for the heavy-handed tactics in breaking up an outdoor vigil for a woman whose suspected killer is a police officer. Women continued to gather at the site of the vigil on Sunday morning, some laying flowers, others crying and embracing each other. The disappearance of Sarah Everett as she walked home on the evening of March 3rd has provoked a huge outpouring of grief and dismay in Britain at the failure of police and wider society to tackle violence against women. Police had denied permission for a vigil on Saturday evening at London's Clapham Common near where Everard was last seen alive. I feel very angry that they think that they have the right to dictate how we mourn and how we react and that it was a police officer that did this and that police officers obviously aren't protecting us because this is still happening and this isn't the only woman that this has happened to and I know every single woman that I know that lives here in London they know what it's like to walk home at night and it's not good and hundreds of women go missing each year and there still is not any sort of reckoning for that and the police come in and try to dictate how we react to that. This has affected every woman across the country. What it's done is it's kicked up every single thing that's ever happened to us and as a collective we needed to come together to be able to grieve that as a process and the, basically the police robbed us of our human rights for collective grief. The uh, vigil should have gone ahead in my view. There appear to have been plenty of proposals to make the vigil go ahead in a safe way that promoted social distancing and there were marshals but the fact that the uh, vigil was eventually banned meant that none of that could happen. And so the logical thing was the, the mess and the disturbance and the horrendous scenes that we saw yesterday of the police intervening. It should not have happened that way. I'm shocked that we're still talking about these kind of issues. And my housemate, actually, she's a female and she's reacted really badly to this. Um, and she told me yesterday things that I'd never heard before, that women are scared to go out in the dark and... Um, um, and be around men and I was really shocked at it but I think my opinion not all men are the same as the guy that done this yesterday um, yeah and I feel like the way everybody's saying that women need to educate men I, I just don't feel like every man is the same they can't put every man in the same category as this guy was that done this to Sarah hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates